Hi you guys, thank you for joining me here today for a Second Life Lifestyle video on something that I find interesting or helpful in some type of way. And today I thought I would show the basics of changing skins. Um, I'm wearing Evo X. I have on the E-Body Reborn Body and I have on a Laluca head. Um, part of the reason why I'm showing this video is because one of my friends just recently changed over to baked on mesh skins, so I thought this might be a reference for her to check out if she gets stuck or needs to change skins again or what have you. And, uh, you know, I thought it also might help a couple other people. I was going to make it private, but then I was like, no, I'll, I'll go ahead and make it public. And, uh, you know, maybe it'll help somebody else also. Again, this is just going to be the basics. I'm going to keep my HUDs up so that we can look and, you know, so that you guys could tell what I'm doing and what I'm talking about. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Right, you guys so yeah I'm just gonna be in this room uh, this is not meant to be the most exciting video this is strictly a tutorial video I usually don't make tutorial videos it's not really my thing but I'm gonna do it this time all right so here we got Sandra um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be stripping her down to <coughs> sorry I'm going to be stripping her down to the system body. So you're going to see me removing everything. And then I will be putting everything back on. Of course, I'm going to keep her bra and panty on because, you know, it's YouTube and I have to. But you'll get the idea. So and, uh, you know, so she'll be covered up the whole time. All right. But I wanted to wear um, something where you could actually see the skin. Um, and what's going on. All right, so enough talking. Let's go ahead and get started here. Okay, so again, she's wearing the E-Body Reborn body, and she has on a Leluca head. All right, so I got the hoods up in case I need them, and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to open up the appearance menu. Okay, so this is where you save you know, your outfits and things. Again, I'm in the appearance menu. Let me just make sure that I could see it. Yeah. All right. We're doing good. Let me make this a little bit smaller. Be huge. Okay. So uh, what you want to do first uh, with Baked on Mesh, we're going to be removing everything and get her down to the system body. Then I'm going to be building her back up. All right. So um, we're going to go into the wearing tab. And as you could tell, um, the pink stuff here is the baked on mesh that she has on her body. And then you could tell right here, up here, this is the bra and panty she has on. So I'm not going to be removing those, but they are baked on mesh. Okay. And then below here are other things she has on, like hair, body deformers, um, the Leluca head. I'm going to go ahead and like remove all that. Okay. So, Cause I want to start from the base. Um, just for the hell of it. I think it'll be helpful. Okay. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and start removing, um, all the baked on mesh stuff first. Okay. So Okay, so she has on um, the whole skin, H-E-A-U-X. All right, so I'm going to take that off. 
She has some bruises on her body. I'm going to be removing those. All right. Uh, she has on um, a Vegas tattoo, and I'm going to be removing that. Body shine, freckles. Yeah. And then she has on a hair base, removing that. So, as you can tell, she's, you know, this is. <laughs> She basically has nothing on right now. Okay, I'm going to leave her ears on just because, you know, it doesn't make a difference. Um, okay, let me see. What else are we removing? Let's remove the hair. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be removing the deformers. I don't think for the e-body reborn, there's really no need to, except I don't like the butt down one anymore, at least. For now, I don't. Okay, but I do want to remove the head. So let's remove the eyes, the head, and uh, oh, we were going to be removing the body. Hold on, guys. Oh boy. Okay. So, uh, all right. I'll go ahead and remove the. Re Reborn body, even though I don't know that there's a strong need to, but I'll go ahead and do that. Okay. No. Yeah, I'm going to leave the defender on because it doesn't make a difference. Okay, you guys. So let me see. How much on the top of her is missing? Okay, let me see. I'm trying to see why she's. I think it was because I had on the um. The the breast add-on to um e body reborn, so anyway, it doesn't make a difference, you guys. She's down to her um. This is her system head. You can tell she's got nothing on. Um, she still has her ears on. Uh. By swallow and her lashes, but other than that, that's a system head. Okay, so we're down to the bare bones, and this is her system body. We could tell by the feet. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, I don't know why the elf is on. I I do think it has something to do with the breast. Um, not seeing an alpha on here for her chest. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, we're we're gonna leave it, you guys. This is this is the system body, and then I did leave her um her nails on, so that's what we're seeing floating here. These are her nails by AII. I didn't feel a strong need to remove them. I mean, I can. I'll just remove them for the sake of argument. I'll remove them. It's fine. Oh. Oh, the alpha was caused by the nails. That's strange. Okay. Find out something new every day. I had no idea. Okay, anyway, you guys. This is the system. <laughs> this is the system body. We're looking hot here. Okay. And she still has the baked on mesh skin uh, that I had on before. So let me see. Let me do this. Yeah, this is all just to like show you how to do it. So for the time being, I am going to put on a different body skin on her just so that we could start completely fresh so that you could follow along with what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to pick a fantasy skin just because I want you to be able to tell it is a different skin. Okay, so let me see. This, this is going to be blue, which doesn't make a difference. Okay, there we go. Okay, so. All right, here's the, uh, the system body. She's obviously does not have a normal human skin on right now. And she has on no head skin, okay? And she doesn't have a head on. Okay, so this is essentially what you would start off with. You know, 
if you're just starting SL and don't have any body, no skin, no head, no nothing. Okay, so this is what you're starting off with. All right, you're going to have a normal skin, though, when you look at the um, the AVIs. Yeah. If I could find it really quick. Um, choose an AVI. Okay, so you would choose be choosing one of these here. Okay. Um, usually the one I choose, if anybody's wondering, not that it makes any difference, but I usually pick, yeah, this girl with the red hair. Okay. Um, I can't remember her name. I think it was Jenny or something like that, something basic like that, but that's who I choose anyway. So she does have a skin on, um, this light hue and that's how it would look. All right. Anyway. Let's get to this. Okay, so you decide that you want to get a body and a head, and you decide on e body reborn, and you decide on a little Luke ahead, as many of us do. Okay, so you go in here, and again, this is just basics, you guys. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not trying to confuse anybody or throw anything fancy in there. This is just basics. Okay, so. I have several bodies, but I'm going to stick with E-Body Reborn. Okay, so this is a Reborn body. What you do is you open up your folder, and you're going to stick on the E-Body Reborn, the Reborn HUD, and, uh, and the knee, knee Fix, which is what I like to wear. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit Add. Okay, uh, we'll fix the alpha in a second. I just want to make sure we can see everything. Yeah. Okay. For a little bit more. I don't know why the alpha keeps doing that. I'll fix it in a second, you guys. Um, let me see if I could hit. Um... There we go. Okay. So there's the e body reborn. Okay. And. Then what you want to do is then you need a head. Okay. So I have many, many heads, uh, but we're going to stick with Leluca. Okay. And Irina. Okay. So when you open your folder for Leluca, you're going to have a bunch of stuff in the folder. This is basically what I stick on. Um, EVOX. Okay. So um, I stick on the Luluka head, the eyes, and the head. Okay. So add. All right. So now we got everything on. And uh, just as a side note, something you do want to make sure of is open up the Luluka head, press the skull here on the top the skull icon and you want to make sure that um on the top here it says evo x um if you choose evo that's going to be using older skins i do have both saved because i have many skins for evo that i did not want to get rid of maybe one day i will but right now i don't want to get rid of those so I have those and then I have EVOX because we're going to be using EVOX skin. So just make sure that is selected. All right. And. All right. So let me see here. All right. So let's get back to skin. So then you decide you want to stick a skin on her. Okay. And so what you do is you buy a skin or get a demo or whatever it is you're going to do. All right. And make sure it's for EVOX if that's what you're using. And I'm going to put on the same skin Sandra started off with at the beginning of the video. I just want to show you the process. So um, what she has on is um, Co Blush. 
Okay, that's the name of the skin, you know. And so we're going to be putting on the head skin. All right. And then we got the body skin by Velour. Okay. So you're just hitting where. Okay. All right. So there we go. Now she has a skin on. All right. And let's go ahead and put a hair base on her. Because most people like hair bases. I do. I wear one all the time. All right. So make sure the hair base is EVOX. Um, this is my favorite brand that I use, this Epper Sombre. Um, so, and I like the tintable one. I do have a platinum and a brown one saved, but I use tintable all the time. All right, so there's the hair base we got on. And, okay, now, this is something I want to explain here. Um. So, with her skin right now, you could tell that uh, there's no flaws, no freckles, no nothing, okay? Um, so, I wear a lot more um, what am I trying to say? I wear a lot more layers than many people on the body and the skin in general. So you don't have to. That's just what I do. So I'm going to show you what I do. And by the way, um, the face here has a little bit of blush and some freckles. That just comes on the face, you guys. Um, Ho is pretty good at making very detailed, nice, you know, head skins. So that just comes on the... Uh, that just comes with the head skin. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, look over here. No, I don't know. I don't know if I know where everything is at here. Um, I'm just looking in here to see if everything I have is in or not. Okay, so basically everything is in layers. You got to keep track of the layers, you guys. So the skin is the bottom layer. I'm going to show you something here that's important in a second. So right now, though, what I want to do is I want to start adding stuff. I want to add on the layers that I want on her body. Okay, so um, on the bottom layer, meaning there's the skin, the next layer, what I want is the bruises okay so i add those okay so as we could tell she's got bruises now on her arms and her legs okay um then next layer what i want is uh i think i usually put the tattoo see i did, i'm not a professional with this you guys i'm just kind of trying to show you what i do hold on let's all right. Um, so I think the next one is the tattoo. I usually have this tattoo on there more times than not. I do change tattoos, but this is, you know, kind of my go-to. Okay, she has the tattoo on. All right. And then um, I think what I do usually is I will put... Uh, Hold on one second. What I'm going to do is, I was trying to think. Um, I'm going to put the body shine on her right now. I think it's going to turn out incorrect, which is fine. Okay, I like the body shine on her. Then let me do this. All right. Then I want to put some freckles on her. Find original. So that's just helping me find the original folder. And so I have freckles on her from Skinnery. 
So what I want, uh, what I want, because the skin's really light, so I usually will skin this bare. I'll go with like a light body freckle on the body, and then the face. I usually go from number seven because I put extra freckles on her face. Okay, and this is what we want to do now. Okay, so basically I have all of the layers on her now that I usually have on her. I wear a lot more layers than most people, but you know, it's just what I like to do. I don't care what anybody else does or likes or doesn't like. This is what I like to do. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and look at the appearance menu again. Okay, so we're in appearance and then what you want to do is you want to hit this edit this outfit. Okay, so you want to go to the clothing tab and what you're looking at here is the baked on mesh layer, um, how the layers are showing on the body. It's on a hierarchy. So the highest things on the list are the topmost layers then as far as like this glitter princess head skin that's the lowest layer which is fine that's what you want but anyway it's something if you're not understanding exactly what i mean or why or how come or you don't know how to work it out the best thing to do would be to go on this section for clothing this tab and mess around with it until you do understand how to move the layers around and what you need to do to make them show okay so uh what i normally do here because i don't know right now what's okay i normally zoom in close to her shoulder i could see the freckles because i want to be able to see the freckles so those look fine okay um Basically, in general, if I felt like the freckles were making the tattoo too light, then I would mess around with the layers. But right now, it looks fine. Okay, let me look at the face here. Okay, so right now, I could tell that we are still looking at the original head skin. Those are the freckles that come with the head skin. Okay, you guys. So what I want is I want the skinnery freckles to be added on also. I want those to show in addition to what we're looking at here. Okay, so what you do is we're going to look at the hierarchy here. Um, okay, so first of all, I like the air base on the very top okay so it has arrows here so what you do is you press the arrows and it moves the head skin all the way to the top see how it's moving okay that's important because it's gonna make the head skin the topmost layer on sandra's body okay and then what we got here is we got body skin but then we got the face skin okay so hold on i'm trying to thank you guys because everything it needs to be showing yeah so the only thing i'm not seeing right now is the face skin okay so I don't have all the secret answers, you guys. What you got to do is you got to mess around with it. Okay, so just look at your AVI, figure out what's not showing, and move the layers around until what is showing, what you want to show is in fact showing. Okay, so right now I could tell that the layers on the face, I mean the freckles on the face are not showing. So let me see. Let me put those above. Yeah, okay. So, as you could tell, the freckles are showing now. Okay? They're showing in addition 
to the freckles that were already on the face. Okay, because I moved them up in the hierarchy. Okay. Um, so, just like shift the layers around until you figure out how to make the stuff show that you want to show. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and add a tattoo. You're not going to be able to see what I'm doing, you guys, because I'm I'm using CTS wardrobe and um, I don't have it set up for the viewer to show my desktop right now, but that is okay. You're going to see the tattoo when I add it. So I'm just looking on here to grab a face tattoo really quickly. EOX. I'm going to go ahead and just the face tattoo. We'll add this. Okay. So that's a face tattoo that I chose. And as you can tell, it's really dark right now. Uh, that's because it has multiple layers on her face. Too many went on because it's a uh, CTS wardrobe applies things on the body um, that are all in the folder. And I have all of the percentages of light, dark and fresh um, colors of the tattoo in the same folder. So if that happens, this is all you do. You go into the appearance menu again under wearing. And look here, we have all these Mr. Razor tattoos. These are on the face, okay? So, um, and let's just say, uh, well, in general, I use 50% um, because it's a really light um, face tattoo. So this is all you do. You hit minus and get rid of the 100% one, and it'll only leave the 50%. Tattoo. You see how it's a lot lighter now? Yeah. Okay. And yeah, so that's pretty much how you do that. Um, here, I could show you this here. Um, let's go ahead. See, see where it went. Hmm. The, the tattoos on the very bottom. Let's do this just for the sake of argument. Let's just move the Mr. Razor tattoo. Okay. So down here. Okay. And uh, oh, how funny. It's locked in the layer. It won't let you move that. Okay, well, whatever. I won't let you move it. Interesting. All right. All right, you guys. So it won't let me move it. So it is what it is. It's just locked in there. I guess it knows where it works, and that's just it. All right. Um, here, let's go ahead and do this with the hair base. The hair base is really, really easy to figure out what's going on. Okay, so let's just move the hair base. I want to show you what happens when things are on the so-called wrong layer. Okay, so let's go ahead and just move it down in the hierarchy. All right, you see that? It disappeared. Okay, it disappeared because the whole... Um, Glitter Princess head skin is now above the hair base. It has hierarchy. The hierarchy is that the head skin is above the hair base. So what you want to do is um, you want to make the hair base higher than the head skin if you want the hair base to show. So this is the hair base right here, this Leluca EVOX hair base. So just take the arrow and make it go up. You see how it's showing now? Okay, so like I said, out of force of habit, I put it all the way up. Okay, so that way I can keep track of all the other layers. But anyway, that's what happens is um, 
And if I messed around with the body enough, I could make the um, tattoo on her body, the Vegas tattoo, um, go underneath the baked on mesh um, body skin she has on, you know. So I'm explaining this, you guys, so that you know how to correct it when something goes wrong. Okay, so. All right, so that's what that is. And um, here, I'm going to show you one more thing. And... Oh. Okay. All right, let me see here. I'm going to show you one more thing with the ears. I know this is um, a, a video about how to do the skin stuff. So I thought I would go ahead and show you the ears thing also um i'm going to show you how to put baked on mesh onto the um swallow gauge ears um just for the hell of it in case you're interested a lot of people use the gauge ears okay so these are swallow ears but these do not use baked on mesh so i'm going to remove these all right and what you want to do is go into your inventory and like just find these will work. What I'm going to show you will work with any swallow gauge ears, you guys. Okay, so um, what you want to do is find find your ears, whatever they are. If they're human, if they're elf or whatever, it doesn't matter. Just find your ears. All right, so I have a lot of ears, lots and lots of ears. Um, we're going to be working with elf ones, okay? All right, so here's the elf ones. And... I'm going to be putting on the pixie gauged small hole ears. Okay, so um, I'm going to be putting these on and show you the swallow head here. Put over because I want to make room for this head. You? Okay. So uh, she's got on the swallow ears right now. They do not have a skin on them yet because I want to show you the HUD. So look over at the HUD and lots of people get confused over this. All right. This is a valuable piece of information, you guys. Okay. So for the skin, um, we have color on and off and then we have baked on mesh. Okay. Right now they're on baked on mesh skin if we put it on the color and on and then it's gonna give me a hard time there we go okay so um the the HUDs for Swallow are a little bit, you know, touch and go. You have to learn how to use them, mess around with them a little bit. Obviously, I'm not an absolute pro at it myself. But anyway, um, when you switch to color, uh, you can make them any color. You see how they're blue, red, pink, yellow, whatever. Okay. And then uh, you can make them lighter. Uh, whoops. There we go. Yeah, or more gray or wh whatever your thing is. Okay, you can make them any color um, with this setup they got here. Okay, uh, but what you want to do is when you use um, these ears and you want baked on mesh, go ahead and uh, on the color tinter here, put it all the way to the lightest one because you want that gray tone. That means it's at its um, base color. Okay. And then hit baked on mesh. Okay, now this should work unless it gives me a bad time. It should work. All right, so let's see here. Let's see if it'll work for me. Okay, um, so I'm assuming it's on baked on mesh like it's supposed to be. Then I have um, gauge ear tints. Um, and the color of skin she has on right now is blush. Okay, so let's see if this works. This is the ear skin, you guys, it's free at Swallow. If you get the ears, you get the, you know, different colors of ear tints. 
Okay, hair skins. All right, so let me see. Okay, so that did work. All right, you see how her ears are covered now? And yeah, so anyway, that's all there is to it. Then if you want to, you could still mess around with the color a little bit. I think you can make them darker. Yeah, look at that. So you could still color the ears a different color if you have the desire to do that. I do not have that desire. We're just going to, we want them just to match. And usually, you see how her ears look slightly? Her ears, in my opinion, look slightly um, pink. So um, what I'm going to do is I just usually on the color tint box, I put the center all the way to here. It just helps neutralize the color out. So in general, you want the little X to be all the way at the bottom of the color tint box, all the way to the left. And then you want this black and white box here. You want it the lightest it could go because you can make it really, really dark. You can make it like black. You don't want that. You want it the lightest color it'll go. Okay. So here you go. All right. Swallow ears. That's how you stick um skin on there and now uh pretty much sandra is the set she's got the skin on put any hair on her anything she looks good and um i will just say this as a as a last thing everybody can do what they feel like doing and what they got money to do uh but i do feel like skin is one of those things that your avi wears and it makes a huge difference in uh how the avi looks and how good it looks um i think if you have a uh, crappy skin um you're giving yourself a hard um thing to deal with um i think that if you get a decent skin to start with it's going to help your avi a long way um so anyway that's what that is you guys and again you don't have to wear the brands that i wear or whatever i like what i like and there's many many good skins out there you could get um this just happens to be what i like then um and let me see i'm trying to make sure that i'm remembering to say everything i need to say here and then um with this leluca head this is for the head um, you can obviously get close. Okay, so for the head, you can wear applier colors on the um, baked on mesh skin. I was confused about that when I first started. It didn't make sense to me, but now is this? I just um, understand that that's what you could do. So, um, you know, you you wear baked on mesh makeup, but you don't have to. That's what I'm saying. I usually go for appliers because appliers don't suck up as much space in my inventory. But anyway, this is the um, HD makeup type stuff that comes with the, the Leluca head. It just comes with it. So anyway, um, here, I'm just going to stick something on her so that we can see. Right now, she has no lipstick on. Um, there you go. See? It's a natural color lipstick don't have to buy anything you just stick it on and it like works okay and then um for the eyeshadow um you know you put on whatever you want to put on but um basically here i'm going to show you this because again this was slightly confusing to me for somebody who didn't start off with a leluca head when you're first looking at the stuff you're like what the hell's going on okay so basically layer 1 you get two layers on the applicator for the Leluca head. So let me just clear this off. I'm gonna clear off whatever she Okay, um, any color you see on her eyes, you guys, it came with the skin tone. Um, it, again, I, I like this brand. I like what she does with her designs and her skins, uh, but um, she doesn't have no eye makeup on is what I'm saying. All she has on is the um, face skin. So anyway, I usually like to start out off with this eye shadow color 
that's um, on the upper left side that you see is black right now. Um, okay, so if you press this eyedropper, colors come up. Okay, and so we have eyelids one. Okay, because we're in layer one, you want to go to eyelids one. Okay. So, um, and then if you want to neutralize it out, again, I go all the way to the left and all the way in the gray, okay? There you go. Okay, and uh, so if you want to go like blue, let's just test this out. I've never done this, you guys, but let's just test all of it. Okay, all right, you see right, oh wait, oh, well, um, here. I had the lips selected. That's why it did that, you guys. All right. So anyway, <laughs> that looks kind of cool. I, you know, hey, that's cool. I like, I like it, you guys. I like it. So anyway, that's blue. Um, you can make it any color. You select the hue, and then uh, you know, it just changes it. Okay. So, okay. So that's the way that works. Um, you can pick any color you feel like picking. Um, again, I just wanted it natural, and then usually I will go slightly darker. And over here, right under the eyeballs, under the um, on the left side here, with all of the eyeshadow styles, um, you could also make it lighter. Here, it's hard to see. Oh, okay, let me let me do this. Let me make it blue again. Okay, make it blue. And uh, this is another way to like kind of lessen the intensity is you could bring the slider. You see the slider under the eyeballs? See how the intensity is getting lesser and lesser? Yeah? Okay. And uh, this all com this comes with the HUD, you guys. You know? Okay? So um, there's that. And then uh, layer two. Okay, so... To go to layer two, you have to hit eyelids two, get unselect eyelids one. Okay. And then um, usually I will, you know, it depends what I'm doing, you guys, but many times I will put, you know, the black cat eye on her. You see how that cat eye went on there? Her lashes are long, but you see how she has a cat eye right now? Um, and then other times I will um, use uh, something like this. Like I said, you only get two layers um, just because that's just the way it is. I don't know. But, um, you know, sometimes I'll use that. All right. Now that's super duper dark. But if you lessen it up. Wait. Oh, it is. It's just really intense. Okay. So anyway, um, you could play with it, you guys. That's just what that is. Um, you could choose different layer, uh, different styles. Oops. Oh, man. Yeah, so um, anyway, that's a different eyeshadow hue, and it's two layers we're looking at here. And uh, yeah, so anyway, you can make it really light, really dark, whatever. You don't have to wear both. Um, you could make the second eyelid color. Let, let's just see if this works. I've never tried it before. Let's just make it red for the hell of it. Oh no, okay. Yeah, I don't know if I know the difference. But it, but anyway, just play with it, you guys. You know, you, you could tell that, you know, the eyeshadow changed color. That's kind of cool. And uh, let me see. And if you want to go back, just go back to eyelid number one and change it. You know, so there you go. And it... it it's really nice. Um, and for lips, go to lips, okay, and make sure lips is selected here on the right side. The HD lips, 
select that, unselect eyelids. So if you want to clear it off, because right now she has blue lips, so let's fix that. Just clear it off. There's, you see where it says clear right on the lip thing? That'll clear anything off, you guys. If you buy lip shades or whatever, it clears everything off. So right now she's got nude lips. And let's put the matte red on her. Oh. Okay, and we want to get back to the natural hue, because uh, right now she's got blue going on. Okay, so go all the way down on the color selector. Okay. And you know, you just mess around with it. Okay. So uh if you want it if you want that shade exactly how it shows, um, or even nude. If you want the nude exactly how it shows, you can make it darker right there, or you could just make it lighter and slide the X all the way down to the gray. I do that out of force of habit just to make sure I'm getting the absolute most nude lip for the truest color um, that they have here, the truest color match that they have on the actual head. Okay, guys, that's it. That's it. I've, I've showed you what to do. There's other stuff, but that's what I wanted to show you. Um, I wanted the basic things you could take away from this conversation is you can move the layers around um, on the baked on mesh. Uh, you could wear baked on mesh makeup or you could wear a plier. And when I say the word makeup, that's a general term I'm using. Um, you could use a plier or baked on mesh freckles. You could use a plier or baked on mesh moles. You could use a plier or baked on mesh lipstick. Um, so it's it's up to you what you want to do. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and by the way, um, on the ears, you could also add on tattoos on the ears. If that is your thing, you could do that because they are baked on mesh. So you could put multiple layers on the ears themselves. Um, I haven't found any really good baked on mesh tattoos for the ears that are elf by Swallow. But um, if I do ever find any, I'll go ahead and, you know, apply them and see how it goes. All right, guys. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me and I will go ahead and see you next time. Take care. Bye.